Hello guys, my name is Vikram Takkar. Today I am going to show you how to implement SD slowly changing dimensions type 2 using Talent Open Studio or Jasper ETF. In the previous video, I have shown you how to implement SD type 1. Now, today we are going to uh, see how to implement type 2. Basically, in type 2 SD, all the history of the changes of a attribute. Uh, is maintained in a dimension table. So how do we maintain the history? Uh, we add, we need to have a start date and an end date column in our dimension table to maintain the history. Wherein start date will, date will tell us when this record is uh, activated and end date will tell when it ends. So if the end date is null, it means that this record is a current record for a particular dimension. So right now we have this dim uh, this uh, dimension table with, uh, where we have first name, last name, marital status, and city. Now uh, to implement slowly changing dimension type two, we need to add uh, two extra columns. That is SD start date and SD end date. So let's add these two tables. Sorry, column. Now let's move on to the tail end job. So I have already defined a connection to a database where this SED type 2 table resides, and I have read this input file where we will be sending the change value of the city for a particular IDs. Now drag to my SQL SED component to implement SED and to my SQL commit. Now we have to configure that uh, SED component, click on settings, use existing connection and give the table name. My table name is SED underscore type 2, this one, we give on the same name. Now I'll give the SED editor, I'll uh, configure the SED editor. This is the most important part of the implementing SED. So here in this box which are column which are not going to propagate to output will be there in the out, uh, unused box the id will go to source keys and so in our table the surrogate key is s key s key and for every change record we want to give it table, ma table max plus one we are going to implement std type 2 on city we will drag it to city type 2 fields now remaining column which uh, we are not going to implement any SED, we will drop it to SED type 0. And here we will mention the attributes of type 2. So, our, uh, the name of the column which holds the start date is SED underscore start and SED underscore end for end date. We will keep end date null for an active record and job st start time as in start of uh, the job to the SED start date. You can also give input field. Uh, and derive your own logic for start date. Now click OK. Save. Now let's, if you see, uh, for ID 1, uh, we have uh, the, uh, we have record Thomas Co. and whose city is Washington. Let's, and for ID 4, the city is Phoenix. Let's change or move these person to different cities for Washington and Ohio and from Phoenix we'll change it to let's say save it so Thomas Co is going to Ohio and Shane Steve is going to Hawaii you can run the job and see Job has been successful. Let's see how it has changed our database. So, if you see, the new record has been added for Thomas Co. and the 
already existing record where you were staying in Washington has been ended with an end date and a new record with a new surrogate key has been added with the value of a start date and end date as well. Similarly, for Shane Steve, a new record for city Hawaii has been added with a new surrogate key and the end date is null and the start date has been populated. So this is how we implement SCD type 2. So in the next video, I will show you how to implement SCD type 3. Thank you.